What's going on, people? I just got to work uh, not too long ago. Just working on Celica a little bit right after the event. A couple things I got to address. Um, one, the belt starting to squeak again, so I'm going to check the tension on the alternator to see if it has enough tension on it. Hopefully it'll stop the squeaking. Two, I have to do this engine training mount over here um, because just as I still feel a little bit of deflection uh, when shifting and stuff like that in the engine. So hopefully that gets rid of that problem. Uh, brakes. So I have to do my brakes. At the first event, I was having some issues with my rear tires locking up on me um, and my front brakes obviously getting pretty worn out pretty fast because all the weight uh, is being shifted forward to the front of the car. So my brakes are kind of prematurely wearing and not doing what they're supposed to do. So I have to uh, put some type of high performance front brake on the front end of the car, uh, hopefully to compensate for the really bad rear brakes on the car. Um, or actually technically good. Uh, I don't need uh, rear brakes as much as I do fronts. So hopefully it'll kind of compensate if I put better brakes in the front and leave the kind of crappy uh, pad material on the rear and uh, I'll have more front stopping power and I won't lock up the rear wheels as much. Uh, so hopefully that'll help me out in that sense. Also, I do have some lowering springs. I don't think I'm gonna have time installing them today. They're over here in this box. Um, I already have front lowering springs on the car right now, but the ass end of the car is in the air and uh definitely doesn't help with you know weight transfer and anything like that so if i can get the car a little lower down to the ground maybe give me a little bit more negative camber in the rear that'll also help with uh the kind of turning situation the looseness i feel in the rear end of the car so all that being said i'm gonna just continue what i was doing unbolting this engine mount right here so this one right here, this is the one I'm unbolting. As you can see, it's kind of torn and you know ripped all apart. So I'm unbolting that one. And I'm going to be pressing in this one right here, which is a polyurethane solid mount. Um, so hopefully that will get rid of all of the deflection and fail. Something I do want to do in the future is see this mount right here. I want to make this a type of solid mount because this still has a lot of movement in it and there's not much I can do. Nobody makes different types of conversion mounts. It doesn't look too hard. It literally, there's two bolts here and there's two bolts here. So if I can make some type of square mount or something like that or some kind of arching mount, uh, maybe f have the center of it full of polyurethane. I don't know, do something uh, in the future. That would be nice. And uh, this car is ABS. I didn't even realize that because it doesn't work. So uh, yeah, ABS doesn't work. It's kind of just there. Also power steering is hooked up and can be run. I just need a power steering rack. I don't really want one. I don't need one. I'd rather have a manual rack and you know, it just teaches you you know, it gives you more feeling and feedback in the wheel anyway when you're racing. So you kind of feel a little bit more. I also have to rotate these tires because I chewed these up pretty good at that event. As you can see here, they're all coming apart. So they got really, really overheated and really hot. So these are still got decent amount of tread on them. These are going in the rear. The ones with more tread are gonna go in the front. Hopefully I can get another event or two out of those and then I'll probably get a new set. I also need a new, another set of rims because um, just in case I blow a tire or something, I need to have some as a spare, but you know, that's okay. So I'm gonna continue unbolting that motor mount. All right, so I was able to get the motor mount bolt out. Uh, it is getting dark, though. The sun is starting to set. The temperature is starting to drop. And I'm getting cold. So I just kind of put everything just kind of in there for now. The motor mount's not bolted in, but it's being held up by the jack. I still got two motor mounts holding it up. So hopefully we are good. I'm going to leave that like that for now. And I'll get back to you guys when I continue to work on this. It's going to rain for the next couple of days. So hopefully, maybe sometime in the meantime, I'll have time. 
All right, everybody, I'm back working on the Celica again. Today, I have a couple things I want to do. Rotate the tires. I bought carbon fiber front brake pads and slotted rotors, engine mount. And I have a set of lowering springs in here for the rear of the car, hopefully to bring the ass end of the car down. So maybe it won't spin around on me as easy on the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just finishing up that motor mount and then we'll move on to something else. Alrighty, a couple hours later, or six hours, seven hours later, I put these new brake rotors and pads on the front. Uh, they're carbon fiber ceramic brake pads, so they should perform a ton better. I was able to put that mount in, and boy, was I having a hell of a time doing it. I had to take my starter out and remove all this crap over here. I didn't record that because that was really annoying for one. Uh, two, I have no battery life on my phone. And three, I just wanted to get it done. These are the lowering springs. These are the regular springs. I had to cut the tie rod ends out. Uh, not tie rod ends, sway bar end links. And now I'm gonna put it back together. I really wanna record it, but I can't find a, in, I'm not lying, I can't find a single iPhone charger anywhere. So I don't know, I can't charge my phone. So I'm on like 5%. So I'm hurrying up trying to record as much as I can. And uh, hopefully my battery doesn't die and I couldn't justify spending $40 on a battery charger at Best Buy or anywhere. So I bought one on Amazon. So I got it. All right, we're back. Hang on. My phone didn't just die. I hit a button. But yeah, so I'm getting a charger and all this stuff is going back in. So blah, 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 blah. All right, so I just finished it up, took it for a test drive, went and got gas. My alignment does seem to be a little bit off. Also, the car sits lower in the rear, which is a good thing. I was just about to wash it. I'm not done washing it, I just started. Um, but yeah, look at that difference. Holy crap, yeah, it sits a lot lower. Um, I don't know, feels good so far. Engine's not moving around a little bit. Problem though, this engine mount bolt that sits over here, stripped, so now I only have one bolt on that side, not two. So either I get a different bolt, try to retap it, maybe a longer bolt and try to put a nut and a bolt on the other side to maybe instead, cause those don't have nuts on the other side that you just bolt it down. Maybe if I get a longer bolt and put a bolt from the, uh, or a nut on the bottom, kind of hold it in place. Uh, the other one has thread locker on it so that baby isn't coming out. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Just gonna give it a quick wash and then I'm gonna park it.